Like our childhood was as severe and heavy as he is. This somber small kid in diapers from birth becomes stronger than every other ordinary human. In his adolescence he already had incredible grip strength. Coward father, Keizu Hanayama, discovered his son's strength before he died in a gang war. As he was leaving, Hanayama's mother begged him not to live, but he would not be deterred and smacked her. Angered by the mistreatment of his mother, young Hanayama grasped his father's arm with great force. His father knew his son possessed the exact same incredible physical strength he did and encouraged the boy to tighten his grip. In doing so, he caused pressure to build and the arm to explode, impressing his father. He left for his fight, confident that his son would be a great successor to the Hanayama group's leadership, as he knew he himself would likely die in this gang war. Until the time Yan Hanayama was ready, Kizaki stewarded the Hanayama group and cared for Kaoru and his mother's well-being. He helped educate Yan Hanayama on the ways of the Yakuza after his father died. When he finally felt ready to assume group leadership, Hanayama was welcomed with open arms by every member. Kizaki being closest to him and still respectful of Hanayama's father, took to calling him second as he was the second generation successor to the Hanayama group. At age 15, as is uh, the tradition, Kaoru is endued with the same tattoo on his back that all male hairs in his family were given, the standing man. The tattoo of the fearless man who saved them and is a symbol of kindness, hope and great spiritual strength to them all. It's a symbolic example for them to live by even in the dangerous world of the Yakuza. But Hanayama was unsatisfied with it. He went to the house of the rival Yakuza group, killing every single one of them with his bare hands, receiving a huge ton of scars in the process. Upon returning to the tattoo artist, he reveals his tattoo as the true standing man, showing that he needed scars to show his strength. In awe of such an incredible act and the revelation of truth, there is both an acknowledgement that Hanayama was right and possessed an incredible strength. When he was a child, Hayama could break a bottle, tear a thick magazine and change the shape of doorknob. All that shit he did at age of 15, already being a huge guy much bigger than all of his fellow Yakuza. At the age of 19, he is already 191 cm tall with a weight of around 166 kilos. When he grew up, Hanayama learned to tear a chunk from a deck of cards effortlessly with his fingers. Not using martial arts or any type of normal training at all, he became a huge titan who is incredibly terrified in a fight. To improve his strength, Hanayama fights strong opponents such as uh, the Megalodon Shark, killing such a monster with his bare hands and underwater. Despite his insane strength and frightfulness, he is humble and respectful to his enemies. Great merit in education belongs to his parents. Who knows who he will become if his parents was someone like Yujiro. Perhaps there will be no Yakuza left in the world except Hanayama's gang. Hanayama is moving through his life, defeating various opponents on his way, growing stronger after each fight and making friends in the process. So overall this guy was born as an already inhumanly strong creature in a human body, which makes him strong enough to compete on the same level with the strongest characters in the series without any type of combat training or some sort of gym exercises. Hanayama's strength is just growth by itself, that's all. All he needs is just to keep knocking people's lights off. I would say he is similar to Yujiro, who also was born insanely strong and has a natural talent to harm people, at the same time living their lives not like the guys who spend all their time learning new techniques or pumping at the gym.
So Hanayama's main resource of power is his inborn strength, street fights, an incredible will that grants him an almost invincible body and insane pay tolerance. Thanks to all of these factors, he becomes an unstoppable machine of destruction already, and he is only 20 years old. Also, if Anayama would start to learn some martial art that match for him, like boxing or something, and improve his punching and overall fighting speed, he could easily jump into the top 5 or 7 strongest characters of the series. But even for now, he is really strong, and for a reason, is one of the most loved characters by the fans. Thank you for watching, if you like this video leave a like and subscribe, if you want more videos like that let me know in the comments who you want to see next. Again thank you for watching and subscribe to help me make my dream come true which is 100k subscribers. Check other videos on my channel, it is a lot of them, a lot. If you want to see other animes on this channel, Chainsaw Man for example, I'm really enjoying it right now, also leave a comment down below and let me know. But for now, that's it, goodbye.